um, I must say that we feel really sad, and I sincerely say it, for the fact that uh, our brotherly uh, northern Macedonia is not yet able to, to enter in this phase of the process, while they were among the first, if not the first, to start the process. So when I talk about our humiliations, three times in a row being refused to start the accession talks, then I feel somehow, you know, feel somehow embarrassed uh, because I have to think of North Macedonia humiliation. They, you even change name to be able to start this. And uh, so, yes, I stand by everything I said about our Bulgarian friends, because history cannot be a reason to stop the accession talks for any country. Uh, different views on uh, who was the mother of our heroes and with whom she made love and what was their biometric, uh, uh, biometric identity at that time and to whom they were related when they were deciding to make love are really very, very uh, interesting uh, topics for historians, but I don't think are part of uh, whatever connects us uh, to become part of the European Union. So this is something that stands. It's not an attack on our, on our Bulgarian friends. It's just stating the obvious. And to me and to us, uh, reaching the European Union is learning to look the past with the eyes of the future. Looking the future with the eyes of the past, it will only bring complications. And last but not least, I've said, and I repeat, and it, yesterday, by the way, in the Berlin process meeting, everyone, everyone stated that bilateralization of the path towards the European Union of a country is sick. They didn't say it like that, but I say like it's a sick thing. Because if you bilateralize uh, this process, you only do harm to that country. You only do harm to what is about when we say a family of values and principles. The integration process for us, Albania, and for us in the region, is something that is a bit different than it was for the Hungarians, for example. Communism for the Hungarians was a brutal accident in a path of a nation that had a state, that had institutions, that had academia, that had all the things not democracy, but all the things for hundreds of years. For us, uh, it's different. We don't have back in our history the tradition of institutions. We don't have back in our history the tradition of a state that functions independently of the, of the system. And we had only 50 years of a communist state, useless for, for uh, integrating Europe, and some years of an attempt to make a state before that. So preventing us to go further with the negotiations by putting uh, bilateral uh, pretensions or by having uh, to serve elections in, uh, in member state countries is preventing the oxygen, preventing the know-how that comes from this building from this complex of institutions, the know-how of how to build institutions, of how to make reforms, or of how to make sure that the values, the principles, standards are, are incarnated in the way the state works. And you can't learn this by the books. And you can't find it anywhere. Afghanistan failed. Iraq failed. Everyone else outside of this continent that we look for uh, democracy and flourishing uh, and blossoming and whatever is doomed to fail for only one simple reason. It has not the blessed to be in this continent and to have the European Union as source of know-how, as source of all 
you need not just to know theoretically but to do practically to make to make your country ready as a member state meaning individual freedom guaranteed rule of law guaranteed and functioning of democracy guaranteed preventing macedonia and then north macedonia and i hope it will not be a south macedonia to uh, to uh, do this was doing a great harm to a nation doing a great harm to people doing a great harm to our region and this i stands for and i can confront everyone and it's not a confrontation it's just simply uh, a, a fact okay i love alexander the great we all love alexander the great, but i don't care i don't care where he was born and I, I, I'm not pretending to, uh, to get my part uh, as Albanian in his genes. We already have many Albanians pretending that Napoleon is Albanian. You want me to open a bilateral, uh, a bilateral problem with France about it? Because then it, it, it will be a bilateral dispute about Corsica. And then it will never end. Einstein was Albanian, you know? So what we do? <coughs> Uh, come on, we, we need to be serious and, uh, and really. And then there is always a moment, and I finish here, to block. Okay, you know, let the countries grow. Let the countries do their job. Let the countries learn how to build institutions. Let the countries implement all needed to have individual freedom, rule of law, democracy. And then, when they come to become members, say, no, I don't like your name. But... At least you have given them everything to function like an EU member state. And then you say, I don't like your name. Fine, fair enough. But not when the countries need the know-how, not when the countries need the help, not when the countries need the support. Because then you have a country where 20 years ago it was an undisputable Western Euro-Atlantic community and today look who is the most liked politician in Macedonia in North Macedonia or whatever uh, because I don't want now to have a phone call from my Greek friends to say you said Macedonia no it's North thank you this concludes our press conference thank you so much for being here Prime Minister, Minister, Commissioner thank you so much, see you soon